Hey, what is going on tonight, YouTube? So I am here in Arvada, Colorado, and I have this Dick's Sporting Goods Kryptonics mini board, and I was curious to see if it was any better than the Five Below board. I already have a sneaking suspicion that is a definite yes, but by how much is the question because this is a kryptonics kryptonics makes sports for walmart uh target of course as the internet has shown us that those aren't exactly the greatest and i have a little hope for dick sporting goods that they ooh, authentic that they have a lot more capacity to build well, slightly better skateboards. And as you can tell, these already roll quite a bit better than the Five Below, because the Five Below definitely have more like plastic bearings as opposed to real metal. So yeah. I right, got all the plastic attachments off. So this says 22 inch locker board, nine ply laminated maple deck, 22 by 5.75 concave shape with double kicktail, composite trucks, 50 millimeter street wheels, and 608 ZB bearings. If you, if you can tell me what that bottom part means, uh, but that would definitely be a humongous help. But um, yeah, definitely, and this is, and what I find weird about all these little mini boards, they have all about the same trucks. As you can see, it's all spaced in there. But uh, other than that, let's get over to King Supers and and see what all we can get. And this cost me about $20 at Dick's Sporting Goods. So yes, it wasn't the most expensive thing I could buy, but definitely a lot more pricey than five bucks. So I have, High hopes. So you guys see there's the price tag right there. So other than that, let's get to skating. second ago everything was like super loose like if you shook the board it would like shake the whole trucks and whatnot and the trucks would like wobble along with them so yeah the trucks were super loose so i just tightened everything up with my skate tool just hopefully that'll solve a lot as far as like stability because it would because when i was just coming down this like this back here it would like I would step on it and it would shift a different way, so hopefully tightening it up would make it a lot better. But anyway, let's get to it.
dashboard. It's not my favorite. So I'm pretty sure Cryptonics owns the company that, or is the company that makes those five below skateboards. Because like I said, I've been noticing a lot of similarities in the trucks. Then also just with the bearings seeming like absolute plastic. But, uh, and see if I can show you guys here what I mean. What I'm kind of stoked on is that a lot of my, that my tool fits these parts almost exactly, which is at least nice, but I don't know if that's, but I would personally not recommend buying these for the cheapness. But yeah, if you look, uh, you can see there's a little gap in the shield and it feels like plastic. Looks like metal, feels like plastic. You can hear it rattling around, which is definitely not good, but you know, what can you expect for 20 bucks and below? But other than that, this wheel definitely has a lot of resistance, especially on all four of the wheels. But like I said, at least my tool can fit most of this. And I screwed that on almost all the way with just my finger, which is not an indicator of good trucks. And if good trucks do it, that means they are seriously worn out. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys next video. And I would not recommend buying small boards like this that are $20 and below. So other than that, see you guys next video.